It's going to be a short comparison video between the new Spyderco Para 3 lightweight with fiberglass reinforced nylon. Linerless fern scales with the uh, nested compression lock against the even though this is a dealer exclusive with the brown G10 and S35VN, it's still the same G10 knife that you just get stocked through Spyderco. After having this knife for 24 hours, I figured out pretty quick last night that what I was worried about, I mentioned in my first video, how sharp the inside of the fern was showed its head when I was cutting. I, uh, nothing hard, I did some medium sized boxes and I could feel it biting into my hands here, back here, so when I was slow rolling the knife open and I'm pushing in down here on my palm, the upper part of my palm, like that, I could feel it. And then as I was gripping the knife, I could feel it on the hole underneath, just pinching into my hands. So I disassembled the knife, it took five minutes, it's a T10 pivot, T6 stop pin screws, and then a T8 for both body screws. Literally five minutes to pull apart. This side of the fern scale has a boss on it, there's no washer, it's just got a, a little boss that rides against the blade. This side, the actual this screw holds the compression lock in. There's a little pin right inside there, a fern pin that keeps it from rocking. And then right in this area up here is a insert steel plate that a bronze phosphorus washer goes on this side and rides on the blade and then against the steel plate. Just use 400 grit and I took five minutes to literally go all the way around the knife on the inside and smooth off all these edges. And it made all the difference in the world. Completely comfortable now. I've been carrying it all day in my pocket and this, having this flat spot on the fern makes it no issues at all, at least in cargo shorts to go in and out. It's got decent retention. So when you look at both knives, they are almost identical in size. And then even in width, if you look at the width, they did a really good job of trying to keep dimensionally the same. The height in the pocket, you know, the width of it, excuse me. If you look at them, they're pretty close to being identical. The main difference is, and if people are Spyderco fans, they're gonna know this right off the bat, it's like using a fern or you know the plastic, any kind of the plastic handle Spyderco, say a Native 5, lightweight, and then go into the G10 version, even the new linerless G10 version, you can just feel not that weight equals quality, you could just feel the difference. It's a rigid platform, super solid. It just feels different in your hand. You know, you have a serious cutting tool in your hand. It's the way it feels, okay? This is gonna be very strong, durable knife. This is gonna be the one that I take, you know, when I go over to my daughter's house to work on her shower or, you know, help her put in some carpet, whatever. I'm gonna, I could drop it, I could scrape grout with it. You know, if I get a dent in this in these scales, I can get some sandpaper and sand it out, put a Sharpie on it, anything. It's it's just gonna be a beater. And for 91 bucks compared to say this, the stock version, I think is 130 or 140. You know, that's a big difference in cost and you're getting the same ergonomics, you're getting the same compression lock. I don't know if anybody's gonna do lock strength testing or hand, scale strength testing, but it's, it's great that Spyderco offered this platform because there's so many different people that like different things. They are similar, but they're not the same. 
If you're a G10 guy, you may not like this. It does feel cheesy in the hand. I mean, cheesy is the wrong word to use, I think, but there's going to be a lot of different... I talked about this last night. There's going to be variances in the way this material warps. It's not going to be perfectly centered. The action isn't going to be perfect on every knife. You know, this one's really nice. Where these are, most of them are all the same. I mean, there are some minor issues that people have, but out of every 100, maybe there's one that's different. This blade isn't centered perfectly, and I tried everything last night to get it just for the hell of it. I mean, it's close. The lock stick that I was getting yesterday is pretty much gone now, just like I thought it would. The blade's tight, there is no blade play. It's, it's really cool what they did with this thing. But I just wanted to show the differences on a quick video. Um, don't expect one to be the other. Don't expect the quality on this to match this for how much you're paying for it. It, it is a Para 3, but it's not the G10 Para 3. And that was the main reason why I wanted to put this video out there. The Spyderco Para 3, lightweight, and the Para 3 G10.